what is up this year? LA in a minute, and I'm here at Alvera Street in front of La Golondrina Cafe, which is fighting for its very existence, despite being one of the most historic restaurants in all of Los Angeles, been open since 1930. Now, Spooky Foodie and Secret Los Angeles did a great collaboration on ways you could help and the legal battle that's ongoing right now. But I want to talk about the historic significance, specifically the founder, Consuelo Castillo de Bonzo, who was the queen of Alvera Street. Let's get into it. La Golondrina Cafe, which was originally Casa La Golondrina, was the brainchild of Consuelo Castillo de Abanzo, who immigrated from Aguas Calientes, Mexico in 1899 when she was two years old, the daughter of a widow. De Bonzo went to school and studied law, but she started her career in real estate, but she found her calling in the food business, and she owned a small chain of restaurants called La Mission Cafe, one in downtown, one in Hollywood, and one in San Gabriel. In 1928, the original La Mission Cafe on Spring Street was demolished to make way for City Hall, and she received a special offer from some civic leaders to start her restaurant anew. LA Times publisher Harry Chandler and wealthy socialite Christine Sterling offered DeBonzo the chance to lease the Pelinconi House, a building with deep history in Los Angeles, at the center of their revitalization project on Alvera Street. It's also notable that Casa La Golondrina was located inside the Pelinconi House, which is the oldest brick building in Los Angeles, having been erected in 1855, and thus providing a physical link to the very founding of the city of Los Angeles, which was only incorporated a few years prior. The new restaurant signified a new era for De Bonzo, so she chose the name Casa La Golondrina, inspired by the popular Mexican folk song with the same name. Many Mexicans were being exiled by various U.S. policies at the time, and the song became the signature ballad of exiled Mexicans using a migrating swallow to evoke sentiments of longing for the homeland. As soon as Alvera Street opened in April of 1930, Casa La Golondrina was right there as the centerpiece, and Consuelo Castillo de Bonzo was on her way to becoming the Queen of Alvera Street. She was a consummate promoter, and she was in touch with her Mexican roots, so she opened the restaurant with promotions like the experience of floating in the gardens of Xochimilco. But she had to walk the delicate balance of an Anglo society that was at times overtly racist towards anything Mexican, and her Mexican roots, celebrating her culture with promotions for Cinco de Mayo, El Grito, and most importantly, called her restaurant Mexican, unlike many restaurants of the time who called themselves Spanish to avoid any stigmas associated with Mexican. Mm. De Bonzo's restaurant was a smash hit, and she continued to expand, opening El Rancho on 3rd and Vermont in the 1940s, as well as Castillo's School of Cookery at the Farmer's Market in 1942. Here's the thing. The food was great. The biggest Spanish language daily in Los Angeles, La Pinon, pronounced the food netamente mexicana, which means clearly and distinctly Mexican. And they had tamales and enchiladas so popular that they were shipped to Hawaii. By 1944, De Bonzo wielded so much political influence that her endorsement was sought in political races. By 1950, she was a consultant for national advertising agencies. By then, she was known as the Grand Old Lady of Alvera Street, and she was also the executive director of the Mexican Civilian Defense Corps. And check this out. In 1954, she was a pioneer in Mexican-American race relations, launching a friendship camp that focused on interracial and intercultural relationships. Hmm. I mean, Consuelo Castillo de Bonzo was the queen of Alvera Street. Here she was with L.A. Mayor John Porter when they extended the street in front of the Sepulveda House. She was philanthropic and societally conscious all the way through. Here she is in 1971 when Thrift Mart opened in downtown Los Angeles, the first new grocer in the downtown area in 61 years, and she was instrumental in making that happen. Unfortunately, Consuelo Castillo de Bonzo died in 1977 at 80 years old, but fortunately her legacy lived on and Casa La Golondrina, La Golondrina Cafe, stayed in the family for two more generations. So today, the owners of La Golondrina Cafe are locked in a battle for the very future of this historic Alvera Street stalwart. You can help. Check out that Spooky Foodie Secret Los Angeles collaboration for ways that you can contribute. But in the meantime, know that the history of the Pueblo, the history of this building, run through this restaurant and through Consuelo Castilla de Bonza, the queen of Alvera Street. All right, LA, it's been a minute.